The 2017 Mountainese Conference Women's Basketball Tournament semifinals are finished in the first game for the semifinals was Fairmont State versus Charleston. Fairmont would win in a blowout 71 to 57. They had a double digit lead for most of the last two and a half quarters of this ball game. Fairmont State Largest lead was 25 points. A few minutes into the fourth quarter, their leading scorer for the game was Deidre Combs. She had 23 points, seven rebounds. Fairmont State advances to the Mountainese Conference Tournament Championship on Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. The second game of the semifinals for the women's side of the Mountainese Conference Tournament was Virginia Wise versus Wheeling Jesuit. Jesuit trying to get back to the title game for their second straight season. They won it last year, and they won another opportunity this season. To start this game off, Wise would have a double-digit lead a few times in that first half. They would end the first half with a five-point lead, but in the second, Jesuit would try to make a comeback with about seven minutes left. Cardinals went on a 22 to 11 run to earn the victory 74 to 68 in a second straight appearance in the Mountain East Conference Tournament Finals. They won it all last season. As I said, they will take on Fairmont State at 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon. The first semifinal matchup for the men's side of the Mountain East Conference Tournament was Fairmont State versus Shepard, the one seed versus the four seed in the semifinals for the first time in Mountain East Conference Tournament history. It was the one, two, three, and four seed making it to the semifinals. In this game, though, Fairmont State never trailed. It was never a game. They won their semifinal matchup against Shepard, 93-65. to They never trailed. Leading scorer was Matt Bengaya with 21 points, 11 rebounds. Again, Fairmont State wasn't challenged. Their large, largest lead was 30 points. They move on to the Mountain East Conference Championship game Sunday afternoon at 3.30, and the number one team makes it to their conference tournament final. The final game of the night, the 8-15 game, was Wheeling Jesuit versus West Liberty. It was the third matchup between these two schools this season. They split home wins with each other. The last regular season game of the season was Wheeling Jesuit and West Liberty. Went to three overtimes in which Wheeling Jesuit won. So this will be on a neutral site here at the conference tournament. And what we expected to happen was more of the same with a close game, possible overtimes once again, but that is not at all what happened. West Liberty came out on fire. Devin Hearn, the senior, was a big part of it in that first half. He would finish the half with 18 points. James Griffin and Zach Grossenbacher both hit three three-pointers in the first half, which ended 57 to 38. West Liberty shot 65% in the first half. In the second, Jesuit tried crawling back into the game, cutting the deficit it to seven with 36 seconds left, but that's as close as they would get. The toppers closed it out and won the rubber, rubber match, advancing to the Mountainese Conference Finals against Fairmont State on Sunday at 3.30. It will be the rubber match as well between West Liberty and Fairmont State. They both got home victories in their matchups earlier this season, and it is number one versus number two, at least in conference seating, playing against each other in the tournament finals. This will also have implications for regional tournament action as well. We will see where Wheeling Jesuit ends up after making it to the semifinals in their conference tournament. Fairmont State and West Liberty both make it to the conference finals. We will see who wins and how that affects the regional rankings in the Atlantic region. West Liberty still hoping to host, but it's looking like Fairmont State will host as the number one team in the nation and the number one team in the Atlantic region. Please tune in to the West Liberty Sports Network at 3.30 on Sunday to listen to an audio-only broadcast of the tournament finals here in Charleston.